Writings left behind by the Covenant School shooter in Nashville could be released later today. The former student, Audrey Hale, who was killed by police at the scene in 2023, leaving a manifesto that has not been made public. Their written statement could reveal a motive. Jaxie Pigeon from our News Nation affiliate in Nashville joins us live with more. Jaxie, this is a critical and controversial day. Some people pushing for its release, while others don't want this to see the light of day. Absolutely, Marky. And it's not a regular hearing. What's set to unfold today is what's called a show cause hearing. That means there's no testimony and no witnesses. Rather, each plaintiff will present their respective arguments and the defendant will be able to respond and cross-examine all before a judge. Now, in this case, it's Davidson County Chancellor Aisha Miles. She will be deciding if the writings of Audrey Hale should be made public. Hale left behind 20 journals, a suicide note, and a memoir. Media outlets, gun rights groups, and Tennessee State Senator Todd Gardenhire requested Hale's writings, and they were all denied under the Tennessee Public Records Act. They feel that information could help experts better understand what was in Hale's mind at the time and how something like this can be stopped in the future. Metro Nashville police argued they do not have to turn over the documents because there's a pending criminal investigation. Covenant school parents want to stop the release of these writings, too, saying that they could be traumatizing to victims and could also inspire future bad actors. Now, it's not yet clear if the chancellor will have a ruling at the end of this hearing, but we'll continue to have live coverage here on News Nation throughout the day. Live in Nashville, Jaxie Pigeon, back to you. Yeah, thinking of those families, I know it's an emotional and, and sensitive day for them. Jaxie will check back in in just a little bit. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.